To become a legend in the UFC, a fighter needs someone to push him to be great. McGregor had Diaz, Jones had Cormier, and Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest? Or give up bragging rights once and for all? All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. All right, so here he is making his way to the octagon for this unquestionably a rivalry fight here tonight. And this is not promotional hyperbole, folks. These fighters do not like each other. Tonight, in short order, they will close the octagon door behind them. This guy is a great striker. What he wants to do is land hard and early, get the respect of his opponent, and avoid any grappling exchanges. Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense, consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. This guy has devastating one-punch knockout power amongst the very best in the world at delivering a single blow to end the fight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Destroyer! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, smiling, Sam! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. You ready? Let's go, come on. Smiling Sam Alvey gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. A good sequence there. The right hand followed by the gag. defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. There is nothing fun about being on the receiving end of that, I can assure you. And now let's see if this slows his opponent's movement down a little bit. Couldn't agree with you more. That strike will count. Oh, he landed a right hand. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Smiling Sam Alvey gets up. That's the good news. Bad news is Joe, he looks hurt. Oh, he wow. connects there. Oh. Vicious, vicious punch combinations 
here. He's losing it now, though. He's got to turn and get his weight on him. He does not really have much weight on him here. Beautiful Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, nice. Whoa! He's in big, big trouble. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Let's see if he can pass that half guard. Big punches here. Good punch. Through the north-south position here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Albie gets caught with that. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's looking to take the back. Just tagged him with the right hand there. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. Just misses with the straight left hand. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault. Staying technical, though, and... Oh! Back to his feet again. Amazing. Punches here. Nice shot to the head. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Round two coming up next. Way to finish the round. Nice. Way to go. Listen, you almost had him finished, but the round came at the end. Now let's start this next round off and fit. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. What an action-packed round. It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. He's definitely going to want to start this oh. one. He's getting tagged. Oh, that's it. He's out. Oh, 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 oh. And he got the victory from ruthless, brutal ground and pound. How about the ground and pound to finish the fight, Joe? That is as good an offensive execution as we have seen on the ground in recent memory. One big shot after the next. He wasn't just trying to score or buy time before the referee stood them up. He was trying to pound his opponent out of there, and that is exactly what he did. You wonder if some fighters will watch this footage and learn from that high-level offensive execution when it comes to the ground and pound. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 10 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the destroyer. Well, there have got to be few things sweeter, Joe, than winning a rivalry fight like this in the UFC. And you can see the celebration is on. And why not? Huge. Result for him here tonight.